Welcome to World Cinema Reviews. This is your host, Frank the Vamp. And, uh, well, if you're watching this, basically you're count, we're counting down the uh, Terminator franchise. Uh, now we're going down to part two, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And uh, this is where it gets hard to critique these films because... Part two and part one of the Terminator are some of the best action suspense films that have ever existed. It's, they're just that good. Um, it's gonna be hard to express to you how, you know, tell you things that are kind of new. But rather than that, you know, I, you know, of course I'll praise the film for what it is, but you know, Terminator 2. And then after reviewing part one, I'll tell you which one I think is better, but I'm gonna leave it as a suspense. But I'm just gonna praise it, but and I'm gonna look at some things that, you know, are kind of interesting about the films that maybe you may not have noticed or you just haven't stopped to think about. Um, we, first of all, let's just, you know, you know, the awesome, awesome, you know James Cameron you know you know comes back you know to direct Terminator 2 here and um, he just understood everything understood that the, the visual effects the right casting of actors to put the right direction the right combination of practical effects and CG early CG and and you know he's just Dude's just a master of action films, and he he delivers here. Um, starring the incredible one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Lindo, Linda Hamilton replaces her role as Sarah Connor. A newcomer, Robert Patrick, you know, becomes a menacing T-1000. Uh, Edward Furlong uh, as, as John Connor, and, um, you know, superb cast. But let's talk about the story. So after you know the first uh, Terminator doesn't succeed um, in 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 killing Linda Hamilton, uh, you know decides to come back for her son this time, and uh, you know once his son is ten years old. But instead of uh, sending you know another T eight hundred like before and uh, the the Arnold Schwarzenegger model decides to send at uh, the T1000 which is a brand new um, you know terminator with uh, with the, the the power of of being liquid metal so he can shape shift um, and he can he can form weapons with his um, you know with his metal shapes and uh, you know he's fast as a machine, and same thing as Arnold. You just can't reason with him, can you know? Can bargain with him. It just you're just screwed if he wants you dead, because he absolutely will not stop until you stop breathing. So Skynet kind of has a pretty good you know ace up you know, her sleeve, but now you know from you know from the uh, future we also get. A reprogrammed T-800, you know, by Arnold Schwarzenegger reprising his role. And instead of being the bad guy, like in the first one, he just becomes the protector of John Connor. And um, it's, you know, it's, that's where, you know, I'm going to leave it. If you haven't watched this film, first of all, why? You know, it's hard to believe. But if you haven't, you're missing out to one of the best action films ever. So Why? Let's talk about acting. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, shifts his acting from a machine-like, you know, organism that is pretty like cruel and awful. You know, instead he develops own life. Even though he still retains his robotic-like appearance and acting, you know, but. The thing about it is that this time he is more like a, you know, he, he shows, you know, some kind of humanistic signs, you know, some kind of ways that he wants to learn 
but but this time once does want to learn to eliminate his target wants to learn to bond and 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 be able to protect his target better you know i know they do take a few liberties with you know the bonding because it is a machine right but he just nails it uh, the acting of Linda Hamilton, Shifter, and and I and I kind of I want to say that she kind of steals the show because from this poor girl, you know that you know she's chosen by faith to be a big part of the you know resistance against the machines. You know she didn't ask for this, and she has to raise a kid all her own and. She's in jail because he tried to blow up Skynet early on, this a computer factory, and she's being put into this mental asylum because no one believes her, right? It, it obviously so. So she's hurt, you know. She's she's been neglected and abused, and and she just like even though she's protecting her from this awful Terminator, uh, but. She absolutely will not stop, you know, to try to protect her son. And she just does it all. And she's willing to give her life, you know, for him. And, and she's just unbelievable. I mean, from a, a dancer in distress back to badass, you know, she kind of steals the show for me. Um, I, I really, really like a Robert Patrick's portrayal. You know, we have Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's like, is a very bulky, tough machine. But, you know, it was a very good observance that when something becomes new, kind of becomes streamlined and faster, perhaps not as bulky, smaller. That's how they, but it doesn't become, you know, less efficient. If, if not, a better, more efficient killer with different weapons. And he totally sells it. I mean, I, he's scary. I don't think he's as scary as, as Terminator uh, 1 when Arnold is playing it, but he does his job well. Now, um, John Connor's role played by um, um, by uh, Edward Furlong, you know, is it's, it's pretty good. I think that it really captures, you know, it's just a kid, you know, and, and a kid with problems, you know, he's kind of growing up kind of on his own because his mom, you know, I, you know, like he says, it's kind of a nutcase or nut job. I don't know what the sack words he, I forgot what he uses, but, um, yeah, he, he sells it. Everybody's acting, he sells it, but, you know, what steals the show also are the special effects. They're so good. I mean, even today, when I was watching um, Terminal Genesis, you know, and I, I, I could tell that, you know, the effects hasn't, haven't really got that much better. I mean, it was so good. It's almost like watching Jurassic Part 1 and then watching, you know, Jurassic World. It's just, you know, I, I want to say the Jurassic 1 effects are better than Jurassic World. I mean, I, I buy those dinosaurs better. So sometimes, you know, I don't think that CG technology has gotten that good yet, or it, it needs some shaping. But anyways, um, let me tell you why. You know, this film is is the bee's knees, right? It's the best. You know, we know good acting. Oh yeah, also opportune humor, hasta la vista, baby, and all that stuff. You know, the one-liners. You know, a great antagonist with Robert Patrick. It all works, but you know, besides just having hitting all the right keys, I think this film, you know, does have. You know, it's a roller coaster, and and you're really you're living it. You're, you are, you know, that kid. You 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 are that kid being protected by Arnold and Linda Hamilton. You know, you you feel for it. You you see it. Everybody sells it so good. And, um, you know, what I wanted to leave you with is, is the fact that, the, you know, the, this story is not new. I mean, we've seen in the futuristic, you know, uh, post-apocalyptic worlds, you know, like, you know, from, ever from Mad Max and, 
and 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 you know and 1984 and, and and all that stuff where you know in in the future you know technology kind of ruins everything and, and therefore people go back to a prime state and at this time you know technology wants to eliminate human beings so it's a, i think it works as a nice commentary also that you know perhaps we let machines control us too much you know I, i'm guilty i'm sure everybody else is guilty that can't live without a phone you hear the little blink messages and things we we can't live without social media we we gotta be connected all the time you know what if you you know what if we are being already controlled by machines you know think about it and uh, yeah it's it's i think it works in all levels so I know I probably sound redundant. I don't think I said I, I saw any background. But what I really want you to think is that, you know, is that, you know, if in all Terminator 2 and Terminator Genesis, you know, have we forgotten that perhaps we are already being controlled by machines? You know, I like the outer limits, you know, how they, they their, you know, their intro, how they, they say they can control the way that TV, you know, works and how you, what you're going to look at. And in, in, in fact, they are, you know, sort of mind influencing manipulating you so yeah it's it's deep it's deep man so terminator 2 it's fun best action scenes ever um you know from the i mean you you can you know taking down uh you know a whole bunch of army of cops without killing them uh you know shooting them all in the leg uh, I promise I will not kill anyone. And I mean, the, the the destruction of the building. I mean, you know, the fights between Robert Patrick and Arnold Schwarzenegger. What I mean, if you haven't seen this film, this is the perfect action film. You know, this Terminator gets a solid A. So if you never seen it, watch it. You will not regret it. If you've seen it and you haven't seen it in a while, go back and revisit it and you'll be surprised. You know, you can compare a whole bunch of films from now, you know, that, you know, action films that are pretty good. None of them can compare to Terminator 2 Judgment Day. So I hope you enjoyed it. Comment and subscribe. Uh, whether you like the movie or not, if you didn't like it, please tell me why. But I don't think there's not a lot of people who this film, you know, people doesn't like. So anyway, so that's the end of the video. Uh, stay tuned for part one and then I'll tell you which one I like better. Was it part two or part one? So take it easy and oh hell, I'll do it. Hasta la vista, baby.